music with Sarah. All right, babe. <laughs> this is uh, your moment, right? This is your song of the week. Yep, my song of the week. Always hard to narrow it down to well, one especially song, what we did but... uh, this past what, this weekend, where we went through and talked about our favorite albums. I know we went through so many, and I'm like, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, we we <laughs> we have consumed a lot of worship music, a lot of Christian music in our day. Yeah. And uh, there's probably not a song out there that we don't know on some level. And yeah. um, so it's hard to pick up your song of the week, even though these are kind of more recent, I'm guessing. So far, but I mean, I don't know, after the last couple of days, I'm like, oh, I might have to pull one from the 80s or 90s here Yeah, we need to promote soon, like so. one of our favorite albums. Hardly anybody ever knows this album because it's so old and it wasn't very well um published i guess right. and and yeah. so but it has some great songs especially if you grew up like we did um it's got some it's it's good but anyway yeah. what we are talking about today is Psalm 90, and, and that's the name of the song. Psalm, Psalm 90. 90, and then in parentheses, it satisfy us with your love. Right, and that's Shane and Shane, right? Yep, Shane and Shane. And I'm a big fan of Shane and Shane, even though they go really high. And um, <laughs> They're hard to sing with. They don't pick good keys for no, ladies always, but that's okay. I still, I love the song, and this one... Um, Psalm 90, I'm very familiar with because the girls had it in Bible B, right. the whole chapter. So I heard it and heard it and heard it and heard it. Now, but, this um, isn't a quotation of no, the chapter. No, it's not. And that's what, you know, Shane and Shane does, they have actually some of their CDs called Psalms. And, they, and they, they're very loose with the, the, yeah. the, the scripture there. But I, they get the context of what it's saying and put it in a song. And I really appreciate I like their Psalms, most, most of their Psalms. Um, that they put the music is really good. Yeah. Um, 145. We're not talking about those. We're talking about Psalm yeah, 90. Psalm 90. Satisfies with your love. And I love, my, my, I mean, my favorite part of the song is the chorus. And that's when the sun comes up, satisfy us before the day has passed us by, before our hearts forget all your goodness, satisfy us with your love. Mm -hmm. And I always tell the kids, because I'm a morning person. Yes, I know you that's, are. you know kind of strange in our house because most people aren't here. But um, um, I don't know about that. There's a I guess you forced them to be. Anyway, it doesn't yeah, matter. Well, you anyway, are definitely a morning person. I love mornings because I just feel like it's fresh. It's new. I love Mondays. Like that's one of my favorite days of the week because it's a new start, new and beginning. you don't like spring. I like, like spring. spring. I like spring. Okay, maybe I'll switch. But anyway, um, but I love. Baby steps. I love Baby mornings steps. because I, you know, the, the passage, which isn't in Psalm 90, but where it talks about his mercies are new every morning. Yep, and meditation. I just feel like, you know, whatever yesterday was, whatever I didn't finish, whatever I didn't accomplish, whatever I messed up or, you know, whatever happened, it's like, it's a new day. It's a new start. And his mercy's new today. Absolutely. And it's like, I have a fresh start and, you know, I have today to live and let's see what we have. And so it's like, um, and it's like satisfy us before the day has passed us by. And I feel like it kind of brings me back to wait on God and he'll satisfy us. Um, that's from Psalm 130, I believe. But I feel like there's just uh, like he has so much to give us that's there. And so it's like, I want to be satisfied. I want to find all my fulfillment that I need in Christ. Right. And yeah, so we get so distracted in our daily life. Uh, we have not simplified our lives. We made it more complicated yeah. and we don't have time to just enjoy the Lord. Like it is a joy to be in his presence. And yes, he's with us at all times, but not a lot of us believe that. Well, not a lot of us feel that. A lot yeah. of us don't consider that. Well, we believe it on paper and we'll right. say it, but it's not actually in our, our thought process. Right. We just don't it's really good just to be quiet and just be satisfied by him. And yes, I, I know this song very well because you play it a lot. And, uh, you know, when the, when, when the sun comes up and satisfies us before day has passed us by, and, and that's just to kind of keep us in the mindset of Christ from the beginning to the end, yeah. you know, all day long. And I like that concept because we do get distracted. Yeah. And it's unfortunate, but yeah. anyway. Well, that says, like, before our hearts forget all your goodness, satisfy us with your love. And I feel like so many times we put our eyes on our circumstances and our frustrations and, the, you know, just, just the daily things of life that, you know, come our way and keep us busy and distracted, yep. like you say. And it's like, I don't want to forget his goodness because even in all of the worries of life and the trials and the, you know, the, the good, the bad, everything... It's like I want to remember His goodness right. because that's that's what's most important. When I have my eyes on that, all the stuff in life is it's okay. Like right. I can do it. I can make it through because I remember that He's with me and He is good. And 
So it just makes all of life much easier. Are those all the lyrics? Yeah, that's okay. all the words. That's okay. You, yeah. you didn't want to talk about all of them. Well, I mean, it, it's all good. You need to go check out the song. And the bridge then does tell us to um, teach us to number our days. And I, I always like that because I just feel like, again, it's um, realizing our life is but a vapor. Right. So we, we have a short time here on this earth and we want to make we want to make our days count. We want to make the time that we have on earth, we want right. to make it count. And so I just, I feel like that's that's really important and I just I don't know I think it's a great song just to remind us of so many truths that we can find I mean it even talks about the The wrath of God poured out for sin on Jesus crucified consider him our hiding place our shelter is alive because he lived and died for us yeah Yeah. I just feel like it's rich it's deep and um, it just it's a great song yeah not too many songs about the wrath of God and um, you know because we don't really want to talk about it too much but it is a reality and so check out Psalm 90, the real Psalm 90. Go look it up in the Bible and then listen to it. You know, Shane and Shane, uh, they do a very good job. I, I, I like Shane and Shane. And they're, they're one of the more humbler. Uh, is, that, is that a word, humbler? Uh, mm-hmm. I, they're just very simple. They don't, they're not showy, they're not flashy, they don't color their hair, they don't have long hair, they don't, you right. know, they don't do all this nonsense. One of them does wear a cap on, on stage. But... Um, they just they seem like they they're very well grounded and they're prolific too. They yeah, they they, are. they like to cover a lot of stuff. They but are. Uh, this is a good one. Check it out. Psalm ninety, satisfy us with your love.